you guys are my Soul King. Welcome to a fresh and fresh YouTube video. And today is my birthday, but it is also the day after the BB22 uh, season premiere. And I've talked about Big Brother before on this channel, not like in depth or anything. Oh, Strock? Strock? You have Strock? Okay, so, <laughs> so I have um, this right here. And so these, this is the cast, and I'm gonna go over each person, um, and talk about them and what I think. And I'm gonna get a little check mark or an X if I think they should actually be on an All Stars cast. But um, yeah, uh, let me just click that real quick and draw. So um, let me just preface this by saying I think the first season I ever watched was BB11. Maybe, but I don't remember because I was so young. I used to watch it with my mom when I was a kid. Um, but I've been watching since I was little. And I think the first season I truly remember was season 15. And there's no one from season 15 on this cast. Um, but we're going to get right into it. And we're going to start uh, from left to right. We're going to start with Bailey from, I think... BB20? BB20. Um, I thought she was really annoying <laughs> in um, BB20. Uh, I didn't like her or Swaggy. Um, that season was just like fucking insane. Um, but to give her credit, she did play a decent game. And her game was cut short because she got distracted with a showman's. But do I think she deserves to be an all-star? No. But am I excited to see what she does? Yes. The dot will indicate if I'm excited to see what they do. Uh, and at the end, I'm going to um, circle who I think is going to win. Uh, or my winner picks. Christmas. Fucking love Christmas. I love BB-19. And <laughs> that's my... One of my favorite modern seasons. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but I love Paul. I was iffy on Josh, and I love Christmas. I love that entire um, alliance. They dominated the game. They played a really good game. Uh, Paul should have won, and I'll stick to that. Paul should have won. Paul should have beat Josh, but, you know... Christmas played a hell of a social game. Um, even with a broken foot, she was able to get to the final three. And she's going to be a threat. Uh, she's a threat this time around. Like, she is definitely, probably, one of the scariest players on this cast. Because... We don't know what she can do physically, because last time she had a chance to compete physically, she got put out. She couldn't compete physically, and she could only compete with strategy. So if she mixes her game from BB-18, or 19, and uses her social game and mixes it in with her dangerous athleticism, I think... Christmas could win. Yes, I think she's an all-star. Yes, I think I'm excited to see what she does. And I think she's a winner pick. She's a winner pick. She's my first winner pick. There's going to be multiple, obviously, but she's a winner pick. She's definitely a winner pick. Next up, the winner of the first HOH, Cody Calafuri. Big fan of Cody and the Hitmen. Um, so right away, all-star. Uh, just from the game he played in BB-16. I don't think he was carried by Derek nearly as hard as people say he was. Um, he played an incredible game. He played... He was the brawn behind the Hitman. You know, he was the he was the muscle. He, he did a lot, and I think he's a threat. He's another threat. I think most of the people in this cast lineup are a fucking threat. This is probably one of the most stacked 
stacked seasons in a long time. And I'm so excited to see each and every one of these people, except for, you know, certain ones, <laughs> uh, get going. So definitely excited to see Cody get at it. And he's definitely a winner pick. Definitely a winner pick. He had a great social game, great physical game, but I'm a little bit iffy because of his not having Derek. Danielle Donato slash I don't remember her next name. Uh, great social game. Deserves to be an all-star. Comp beast. Excited to see what she does, but I don't think she's a winner pick. Uh, I don't think she's a winner pick, honestly. Um, because of her background... And because of, because she's a legendary figure. She's a legendary figure in Big Brother. So I can't, in my right mind, give Danielle the big old circle. Because I don't think she's a winner pick. David. I am super excited to see what David does. Mainly because he is the, uh, let me, let me find a, right, right there. Okay, there's a better one. I'm extremely excited to see what David does. Do I think he deserves to be an all-star? No. For one purpose. He was a week one eviction. He's unproven. And he has the least experience in the house. That's dangerous. People know the least about him. And he knows about every one of them. If he's done his homework since last season. I think, I don't think he's a winner pick, but he is a threat, and that's all I can say. Davon, always excited to see what Day does. Mama Day definitely deserves to be an all star. Don't think she's a winner pick though. If her past game was is something to go by here, she's not really strong in comps. Uh, she has a decent social game, but she has a tendency to blow up and make people mad at her. If she's matured enough to be like, you know, to keep her mouth shut, maybe. Maybe she pulls through. But I just, I, I can't say she's a winner pick. Enzo. I know nothing about this man. So I can't say if I'm excited or not. Uh, I don't know if he's an all-star or not. I just know he's a part of the Brigade, so... Brigade, one of the greatest factions or uh, alliances of all time, so I hear. So we're going to give him a check. Um, but I can't give him the win. I can't give him any of that. The Prodigy, Ian fucking Terry. I'm telling you right now, he's more mature. He was a comp beast. Even though he's small, he was a comp beast. I haven't seen that season in a long time. But he beat out Dan. He beat out Boogie. In the same season. All-star for sure. Really excited to see... There's really nowhere to mark where you can see it. Really excited to see what he does. And for sure... A winner pick. Janelle. I was hyped for Janelle. I'm excited to see what she does. But. I think. I don't think she has it. I don't. I don't think she has it anymore. She should have been in that HOH. Unless she threw it. Which. Maybe. Maybe. She gets a check for being an all-star. That's a terrible check, but we're not going to talk about it. She definitely gets... She's an all-star. Definitely for sure. 100% a legend in the game of Big Brother. Is she a win pick? Not this time. I don't think so. <laughs> I just don't... Maybe if... If she gets in a big alliance, if... She's too much of a threat. I don't know. She's too much of a threat. Kaser, excited to see what he does. i am be honest, he was before my time, so I don't know if he's an all-star or not. Um, so, 
I'm just going to leave him with a dot because I'm excited to see what he does. Um, but I'm going to leave him, I'm going to, I'm going to give him an X real quick. And I'm going to give Enzo an X as well. Oh wait, I gave him a check. I can't give him a check and an X. Fuck. <laughs> oh no. Uh, check. <laughs> it's a check. Enzo, Enzo, you get a check. You're an all-star. Uh, Keisha. Don't know anything about Keisha. So we're going to give him, give her one of these. Uh, but we're excited. We're definitely excited to see what she does. Kevin, I remember him being really fucking annoying, and I can already tell that he's going to be one of those for me that's really fucking annoying, but I'm excited to see what he does. Uh, final three, I mean, you know, might be a winner pick, and it's definitely an all-star. He has a social game, and he seems to have a physical game, so we'll see. Memphis. One half of the Renegades. All-star worthy. Excited to see what he does. I don't think he's a winner pick. Nicole Anthony. I have a lot to say about these last three. Nicole. <sighs> Should she have won last season? Absolutely the fuck not. Mickey played a hell of a game. Did she also play a hell of a game? Absolutely, fucking lootly dude. Her story throughout was amazing. I'm super excited to see what Nicole Anthony does. I think she's a winner pick. She has the experience, and she seems like the type to learn from her mistakes. And she deserves to be an all-star. Is she, She's the only one out of that last season, other than Jackson, who deserves to be an all-star. Because she's the only person, other person who played a really good game. Nicole Franzel! Do I have to say anything? Do I have to? She's one of the greatest modern players of all time. Should she have beaten Paul? No. No, she shouldn't have. Paul played an absolutely better game. She also played an amazing game, so I respect her win. But I, <laughs> I still think Paul should have won season 18 and 19, but... And if he would have, dude, if Paul would have been in this one, he would have fucking dominated. But we're not going to talk about that. Nicole had a great game, great social game. Not really a comp beast or anything, but she knows the game. And man, Tyler Crispin, one of my favorite players in the history of Big Brother. He is. I'm excited to see what he does. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what he does. And dude, if he's not a winner pick, I don't know what the fuck is. Um, <laughs> um, he's a winner pick, for sure, and he definitely deserves to be an all-star. Should have won uh, his season. Didn't. Casey also deserved it. Comp Beast, one of the best uh, in comps. Where the fuck is his dot? Let's just put it right here. It's like right here, but it mixes in with the check. Put it on his forehead. So, this is my opinion on the cast so far. These are my winner picks. Christmas. Cody. Ian. Kevin. Nicole. Tyler. Who is my overall winner pick? Let's see if I can get a different color here. Let's get this gold. My winner pick, this time around, is Christmas. For everything I said before. Social game, comp beast. She was good at the mental comps in her season. She was had a great social game. Made it to the final three with a broken foot. Now she doesn't have a broken foot, hopefully. She's going to the finale. What she needs to do is fight. Ugh. Bro, stop it, buddy. Stop making me burp and shit, alright? <laughs> what she needs to do is find an alliance. She needs to stick with said alliance. And she needs to fucking gun for it. 
She needs the gun for the next HOH because she's a threat. I think... Uh, who I think's gonna go up first? Um, this, is, this red dot is gonna be who I think goes home first. I think Janelle goes home first. We'll put, we'll put like a... That. I think Janelle goes home first. She's too much of a threat. She's too much of a threat to keep in the house. Um, <laughs> if not her, then it... Maybe Kevin or something? I don't know. Ian, maybe? Ian might go home first. Overall, a stacked season of Big Brother. And there's really not much you can do. Other than tune in to Big Brother All-Stars. Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Find out who wins Big Brother. My choice is Christmas. She's my pick so far. Could change. Well, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see more Big Brother content, you know what to do. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.